Hello everybody and today I'm going to be showing you guys around my setup and walk you through what sort of equipment that I use on a daily basis and also it has been a while since I made a video like this I think the last video that I made was around in 2018 so that was about two years ago and since then there has been some pretty noticeable changes on my in my setup pretty much and I'm actually very excited to show you guys it so anyways let's begin and so here it is. This is my setup where I spend most of my time recording videos, doing live streams, and of course, etc. So let's go over here to my microphone. So the microphone that I'm using is a Rode NT-USB, a very, very good quality microphone that I've been using for about a year. And to be honest, I think I might keep this microphone for another two years, just the way how good it sounds and yeah, it's, it's a very good quality microphone that, that I might never change forever because just the way how good it is. And so it's actually attached to my Rode arm, which is over here. And uh, I mean, it's also a very good arm that you can just like move around up and down. You can make it go forward or down or whatever like that. I mean, it's also a quality Rode arm that I have over here, which is over here. So if you cannot tell, that's also made by Rode. And so let's go here over to my monitor, which is a 27 inch Yama monitor and it's a IPS 75 Hertz. So, I mean, also a very, very good mic, uh, actually not a very good microphone, but a very good monitor that I've been using also for about a year, maybe less than a year, but also a very good, big, big monitor, of course. So now uh, you might be also wondering what is this little thing that's on my uh, on my little little tiny table over here. This is actually a wireless charging pad for my phone, and uh, yeah, I mean my phone is also wire wirelessly charged. I mean I'm I actually use this pretty much every day because for some reason I can't seem to find my cables in my room, so I always use this wireless pad because it's kind of useful if you don't want to use any cables or don't want to plug in anything. So also kind of handy at some points. So now let's over let's move on here down over to my uh, not my controller, but my console, which I have been using for about three or four years. Also fairly old, but it still goes. I mean, it's still a very good console. Like I'm 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 kind of debating if I should get the new Xbox S or X series consoles, but I think I'm gonna keep this console for maybe a little longer because. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It plays games. That's all what it has to do. So, of course, I might not change to another console anytime again. Or maybe if I have the money, of course, because consoles these days are quite expensive. So, here we have two hard drives from Seagate, which are plugged into my console. Because my two, both of my, I think one of my hard drives are already full. And so, yeah, the green one is a one terabyte and the white one is a two terabyte, I think. So... I mean, I quite ha I still have quite a lot of storage, but you know what? I had to buy a, uh, another Seagate storage drive just because it was actually getting pretty full. So that's that. And here is my Xbox One controller, which is uh, which is attached to my Razer Kraken Pros, uh, or actually, I don't know, I keep forgetting names of like products, but yeah, this is a Razer headset that I've been also using for a while. If you cannot tell by the by the lever over here, that's kind of wearing off. So. I mean, I, I'm not really sure if I'm going to change headsets. I'm going to keep this for a little while also. But if you cannot tell, the lever is kind of peeling off, which is kind of annoying. But I can't really do much about it. So, and here, ha here we have these little control freaks, which help me kind of a little bit on playing games. I mean, it's kind of, it's more comfortable that I have these things than like the standard Xbox One uh, things over here. So, I mean, it's, it's definitely more comfortable and more accurate and fast. So, yeah, that's all of that where my console sits. Now, let's go here over to my PC, because that's actually where most of my crazy stuff is. So, here we have a two pair of speakers from Creative, and to be honest, they sound so loud. I mean, these might, this, these might be the most loudest, like, speakerphones that I have ever owned. Like, even though I turn them very, like, quietly, you can still hear them, like, from across the room to like to my bedroom or like to my parents bedroom it's just such a such a loud speakers but they play very accurately songs i mean they sound amazing and of course made by creative we also have a bass meter a treble a volume knob so these are also very helpful things of course so here we have also another iyama monitor pretty much the same as this one but this one being a little bit smaller it's a 24 inch and has 75 hertz so pretty much the same refresh rate as the big one also IPS 
And uh, here we have a, a webcam that I actually, I think I already use it in some of my live streams, so some of you might already know how it looks like. But yeah, this is the, the Razer Cairo, a very good webcam that I also really like. And also, I got a fairly cheap from a, from a store, a second-hand store to be, to be more exact. And uh, yeah, also a good, very good webcam, 1080p. I mean, you can also put it in 720p and have more FPS. But anyways, uh, so now um, <laughs> let's go here over to where my crazy stuff over here is. So, so this keyboard, I bought this, I think about two years, not two years ago. What am I saying? Like <laughs> some of the things that I'm saying, but I bought this keyboard two days ago and I seriously fall and I seriously love this keyboard. I mean, it's much better than my old Razer keyboard because my old Razer keyboard had like mecha membrane switches which were kind of like hybrids to mechanical switches, but not really. And this keyboard over here is, is, I mean, has real mechanical switches, not like my old one. And if you guys are curious what sort of switches it has, it has orange Razer branded switches, which are uh, also quiet, but also very, very good and accurate. So anyways, here we have a mouse from Razer. Oh, I think it's the Razer Mamba. And the keyboard, I think it's the Razer Black Widow Elite. Also with the wrist rest, I really, for some reason, I'm really used to like wrist rest on like keyboards. So that's why I always have like a wrist rest on every single keyboard that I buy. I mean, I could also, of course, buy just a normal keyboard and just buy a um, wrist rest to it. But I just like to have it like same branded. So of course, we have a Razer branded um, wrist rest. And uh, here we have a mouse, the Razer Mamba, the tournament edition. I think it's the tournament edition. Of course, always. Of course, it's all RBG, and uh, also I forgot about this. It also has a uh, like volume knobs over here, so you can turn up and down. We have media keys, which is very nice, and uh, yeah. Now here we have my gaming chair. I don't know if I really can call this a gaming chair because it's just a normal office chair with like two little holes into the drilled into like the back of it. But uh, I mean, it's actually very comfortable. It's much better than the other chairs that I had back in the day because. I don't know if you guys remember, I used to have like two red looking plastic chairs and those things were very uncomfortable. Like my back really didn't like it. So of course, I just kind of saved up some money and of course bought this chair, which is definitely a fairly big improvement on what, a cha what the chairs that I had back then. And yeah, I pretty much have showed you guys a little bit around my room, uh, actually pretty much on my setup. But how about I go pretty much show you guys over here because I ha do have more stuff in my room. So... How about I do a little bit of a room tour over here? So over on this side, uh, here we have a couple of things that I also use on a daily basis. So here we have some wireless earbuds from House of Marley. These are seriously good. Like I use them pretty much every day when I'm going to like to school or to work, whatever it is. These things are amazing. Like they have very long battery life, which I of course very very much like. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna never I'm ne never gonna get rid of them never. And here we also have a Bluetooth speaker of House of Marley. Very good, very quality. And also the uh, the materials that they're also using are kind of re are recyclable. So like this over here, this is actually cork from like wine bottles. And uh, I mean, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool uh, Bluetooth speaker. And here we have a smartwatch from Huawei that I don't also wear that much, but I still have it anyway. So I mean, it's pretty cool to have a smartwatch, of course. So uh, yeah, this is my couch, this is my bed, of course. Pretty sweet. And now let's go here over to my last like couple of interesting things that I have in my room, which is over here. So if you can if you guys cannot tell, this is actually a Polaroid camera. I actually bought this two weeks ago and I haven't used it. I still have to use this camera at some point, but I really want to have like a nice space where I can just like take pictures from because like it's oh man, I just want to take some very beautiful pictures of this. I don't know where exactly, but I still have to look. So for now, it's gonna be here for maybe like another couple of days and maybe I will go somewhere and take some pictures with it. So over here, you might be looking at this and wondering what is Beastars? And it's a manga that I have been reading for about three or four months. And to be honest, I really, really love it. And also, if you guys haven't seen it, this is also have a poster of Beastars over here. So some of you might be familiar with this like manga series because it, it also has been playing on, um, on Netflix, so some of you might be also familiar with it. And uh, here we also have my old vlog camera, 
which I uh, never use. I mean, right now I'm using my phone, but this was actually the camera that I used in my previous like set of videos and uh, kind of vlogs that I b b did back like in 2019. So yeah, I mean, to be honest, not the greatest camera, but it's it's fine. It's it's, it's a good camera. So now here we have my little figures that I have over here. So it's a Fallout. So here we have a Fallout 76 Vault figure. Here we have Captain Price. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> so and also I have a couple of Wally -E figures. And uh, I actually fought, found these figures on AliExpress, and they looked so amazingly cute. So of course I had to buy them. I l literally had to snatch them. So of course I bought them, and now they're here in my room. And here we also have an Xbox One logo light, which I can actually turn on. So that's also pretty cool. So yeah, I mean, it's like a little bit of a night light, so it's pretty nice. It's kind of cozy when you turn it on at nighttime. So um, I actually forgot about showing you guys one more thing, because down over here, I have my computer that I've been using for a pretty much when I started this YouTube channel. I still own my very first computer that I started off with my YouTube channel, and it's still going strong. It's a very good computer. It's actually made by Dell. So, uh, I mean, it's, it's very good. I'm actually going to tell some of the specs that it has. So it has 8 gigabytes of HyperX, I mean, DDR3 RAM. It has a Core i7 and a GTX 1050. GTX 1050, I think that's the graphics card that I have in there. And, uh, I mean, it does the job done. I mean, it's, of course, a good, good computer. It does the job done. And, uh, of course... That's good. <laughs> so here we have also a two terabyte little Seagate hard drive where I put all my videos and store them into my little drawer of hard drives because I have a drawer which is pretty much filled with a bunch of hard drives that are like pretty much from, from all the years that I've been collecting. And uh, here's my spaghetti mess under my table. <laughs> so I mean, if you can't tell, my cable management is incredibly terrible. But I tried to do my best and kind of like s sort it a little bit, but if you cannot tell, I'm not really quite good at it. I mean, I tried. Of course I tried, but I mean, it's it's better than nothing. <laughs> at least I tried to do something over here, but it didn't work. So I just kind of kind of tied everything to like a one spot and that's all of it. So anyways, I think that's pretty much all of it what I showed. I mean, hopefully it's all of the things that I've showed you guys. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video about my setup. If you did, make sure to leave a like. That'd be very amazing of you. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Goodbye.